Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today I'm going to be talking about how to get the best positional audio for first person shooter gaming while using headphones. Primarily, I'll be focusing on PC gaming. I'll touch a little bit what you can do for consoles to get better console sound output. Now, first of all, what do I mean when I say positional audio? I mean the ability to position objects or enemies in the environment just by hearing them. Now, in early days of gaming, when I wasn't using headphones so much, I had a surround sound system, and that gave me very, very accurate positional audio. In Counter-Strike, I was able to pinpoint people through walls, and I could shoot them through the walls without being able to see them. Surround sound speaker systems are very hard to beat in the uh, headphone market. However, headphones are becoming much more commonplace and popular for gaming, not just because they're smaller and easier to set up, but also because if you're competitive gaming with other people near you, you need to have a closed off sound system. Also for voiceover, uh, internet stuff, you need to have headphones so you're not getting feedback on the microphone. Now, if you're looking for something very simple for audio accuracy, you can actually get away with very inexpensive setups. They're not going to be the best accuracy on the market out there. You might be a little bit more limited, but you can definitely save a buck if you go for, say, USB gaming headphones. I used the G35s for a while. Those had pretty decent audio accuracy for their price, and you didn't need a sound card or any sort of extra hardware. They were just USB Easy to set up, easy to use, had built-in drivers, all that stuff. However, G35s don't necessarily fit everyone comfortably. They're also very flimsy. I've seen multiple people break them. Um, and there's, there's a few other options out there for USB headphones, but I really feel like you can go much further and have many more options with analog headphones and get even better positional audio accuracy. Now, sadly, a lot of the gaming headphones out there that are marketed towards gamers have horrible positional accuracy. They'll ramp up the bass extremely high, they'll sort of blow you away with this like incredibly loud sound, and you won't actually realize that you're getting a very bad headphone if you're trying to be more competitive. All right, so let's get into the setup that I'm running right now, which I think is absolutely killer. The first step to this was getting a good sound card. I think any of the Asus Zonar sound cards are good choices. There's many other brands out there that will work well. I ended up going with the Zonar Essence STX, which is a bit overkill for what I have right now. Uh, but I wasn't sure what kind of headphones that I was wa going to want to get. And these ones actually have some juice if you want to buy some more expensive, higher power demanding headphones. Now the point of having a sound card is that you can uh, better virtualize surround sound for a stereo output with your sound card. So in your game you can often set the sound output to surround sound output. Uh, basically setting up your game like in Battlefield, I'll show you here in the menu, you can just set up Battlefield for home cinema setup, which is assuming that you have some sort of big surround sound system. Then in your sound card you can go ahead and set the settings to virtually set up uh, output a surround sound signal on a stereo setup. The Zonar does this perfectly. Now you got to figure out some headphones that can really take advantage of this. So when I first bought this sound card I was using some Astro A40s just because I really liked how they felt. They were very very comfortable. I plugged them into this setup to try them out with surround sound. They weren't bad but I wasn't particularly impressed. In fact I thought that the cheaper G35s that I was using earlier sounded just as good if not better for positional audio. So I did a little bit more digging around. I didn't want to break the bank and I found some headphones that everybody was raving about as being absolutely hands down having the best sound stage and the best positional audio for gaming. And those were the Audio-Technica AD700 headphones. They run for around 100 bucks. If you find them on sale, you can probably get them for around 80. These things are ugly. They are just, they have this sort of golden color to them. They've got this like purplish speaker cover. They're just not attractive looking headphones. They're also not marketed to the gaming crowd. They don't have a built-in microphone, which can be a really big problem for some people out there. I found a way around this and I'll talk a little bit about that later. But I purchased these headphones and as soon as I plugged them in with this surround sound setup, it was like night and day difference. It felt like I was cheating when I plugged them in. I was just able to really notice when people were sneaking up behind me. Uh, when shots were fired in the distance, I could pretty much pinpoint exactly where they were on the map. Uh, Battlefield has such a great sound engine, it really helped with this as well. But it also helps a lot for other games. I'm just 
able to be so much more accurate with anticipating exactly how far away my enemies are and what direction they're in. The bass is not impressive at all with these headphones, but the mids are just so crystal clear. Uh, it really makes up for it. And frankly, if you're competitive gaming, you don't really want massive bass to drown out some of those mids. You really want to be able to hear all those details, you know, rebel dropping, tiny little call outs, anything that you can hear to help position your enemies and figure out where the danger is or where you need to go. One downside of these headphones is that they're kind of clunky and I've heard from some people with smaller heads that they don't fit particularly well, they fall off a little. Luckily I have a large head so the actual comfort of them was pretty good. The ear foam is a little bit large to the point where some of it rubs against the top of my ear which will make my ears get a little bit sore after long gaming sessions. Um, this is something where like the Astros just completely beat these. Those were some of the most comfortable headphones I'd ever worn. So it was kind of hard getting used to these instead, but for the sound upgrade, it was absolutely worth it. Now, if the lack of microphone is a complete turnoff to you or just the visual aspect of these headphones is not gonna do it for you, there are some other really good options out there. And I've come across this excellent forum online where uh, this guy, named Madlust Envy has reviewed so many headphones. This guy is audiophile galore. Uh, the Audio Technicas are in here, but he's also re reviewed a lot of other headphones and he's done tests with gaming, competitive gaming, and done a lot of good reviews on there. So I'm gonna link that down in the video description if you want more information. But just off the top of my head, some of the other options out there um, are the Sennheiser PC360s. Um, those have a built-in microphone and apparently the positional audio is absolutely phenomenal on those as well. They are a bit more pricey though. Now for people gaming on consoles that want to use some of these higher end headphones and still get good positional audio, you can use things like the Astro Mix Amp which will still provide you a good Dolby surround sound signal, um, a virtual surround sound signal on a headphone output. Um, so you can buy the Mix Amp and then plug in different headphones to this to try and get better positional audio with consoles. That is something that I've heard works really well for Xbox and PlayStation. Now, if you do end up going, say, the Audio Technica route, there's a ton of forms about these headphones, uh, modding them to try and make them fit better. Uh, a lot of stuff that actually doesn't look too difficult to do. And then there's also some stuff for how to get a microphone on there. If you wanna use a microphone that's, say, on your desk or modding one so it fits on your headset. I was using a mod mic. Sadly, they're not selling these on Amazon anymore. I hear mod mic 2.0 is coming out very soon, but it's a cheap little $30 mic that uses a magnet to stick onto the side of your headphones. They actually sound really well. Um, so that's a really good option out there if you're looking to upgrade them with headphones. But honestly, for $100, I think you're, it's gonna be really hard to beat the Audio Technica headphones with just positional audio accuracy. Now, for those of you who have been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that I review hardware that has to do with gaming, keyboards, mice, monitors, anything that has the potential to make you a better gamer. But I have to say, audio quality, positional audio, soundstage, those things right there are far more important than having a good mouse or keyboard or a monitor. I think your ability to pinpoint where your opponents are based on sound is so much more important than, the, than these other things. I've seen a lot of really good gamers out there using bad headphones and just being at a complete disadvantage. Before when I was trying to use Astro A40s to position people in, in gaming environments and try and figure out where they were, I was able to pinpoint their positions maybe a 90 degree angle, maybe a 60 degree angle within accuracy. If I just heard them, I could, I could tell that they're probably within that degree uh, of space. But with using the sound card and audio technicas, I feel much more comfortable with pinpointing people down to about a 10 degree space around me. So that's much more accurate. I can literally at points shoot through objects just because I can hear people on the other side and the sound accuracy is good enough so that I can really pinpoint their position perfectly. And just so you guys know, I'm not actually endorsed by any of these hardware companies. I just try and tell you guys what my experiences are, what I found out, and uh, what really works well for me and what I think will work well for you. So thanks for watching guys and I hope this gets you on track for getting the best audio quality possible out of your gaming rig. 
I'll see you guys next time. This is Level Cap signing off. Thank you.